believe we're kicking off our 10th season of Ignite Party. 10! Yay! Yeah! Remember him? Yeah! Remember welcome back to the vlog and welcome to the first race day of 2023. It is finally here and we are more ready than ever. The cart is pretty much all ready and we have to do our normal routine of taking out the clutch and putting the new clutch in and putting the new tires on and putting our practice tires in a safe place. This cart has felt good throughout practice during the week and so this thing should be pretty quick today, making today a pretty exciting day. Uh, so let's get started. All right, and we are going to start out this season like we started out every Ignite season in the past with the standard private car track. The standard track starts with the regular long turn one, which is fast and tight on entry, and then widens out as you go around the corner and head toward turn two. Then heading out of turn two into the extended turn three, it's another corner that is tight on entry and a late apex, and it is very important that you are smooth and fast on exit so that you don't get chewed up on the back stretch. And then the North Pole, which is going to be our turn one today since we're starting on the back stretch, is a long sweeping left hander with two apexes leading into a right hander that takes you out of the North Pole and then back towards where the normal start finish line is. Okay, and uh, today is already off to a good start. Um, my impact isn't working. Um, it's acting up. It's sometimes it works. Sometimes it does this, where it slows down and only does like little petery turns, which is no bueno. I don't know what's going on with it. It's not the battery. I already checked, and uh, it kind of seems to be off and on. Um, but really, the only thing I need to use this for is the clutch. So. I mean, I guess it's not that big of a deal right now, um, but uh, yeah, we'll work with it and uh, we'll sh troubleshoot this another time. All right, driver's meeting is done. Uh, next thing that we need to do is put the GoPros on the cart and, uh, and then we'll roll it out to the grid, set tire pressures, and then we should be all good to go. So uh, let's go to practice. Practice one done, and it was pretty successful. Fast time, 37 flat. Uh, we were obviously in pretty heavy traffic, so I couldn't really get any clear laps. But uh, on the topic of traffic, this cart feels very, very good in traffic. Uh, I was able to make some passes pretty easily, uh, and I was able to hold a pretty steady line in the corners. Um, so I think with clear track and with the tires being all rubbered in now, I think we can knock uh, probably like at least six to eight tenths off by the time qualifying rolls around. Um, but uh, in the meantime, we'll move on to practice two. Uh, I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to leave everything how it is and uh, really get a feel for how the cart behaves in practice two. And uh, hopefully we're closer to the top of the charts. We were P11 in this session. Let's see what happens in practice two. I forgot to mention in the last session, uh, my left rear tire went down by five and a half pounds. Um, well, as it turns out, uh, my left rear tire, which is the same one I used last year, has a big old crack right here. So I can't use that. So, got a brand new rim, and uh, now we're gonna take this, we're gonna dismount this tire, and put it on here. So, first we go over here.
right, practice two done, and it's even more of a success. And the field is really, really close. Two tenths of a second separating the top 10 drivers. I was only a tenth and a half off the leader in eighth place with a 36.49, and the leader was at a 36.33. I had a lot of clean air that session, so I was able to get a feel for the car in clean air. Um, it feels really good. I need to get down my north entry and be a bit more smooth through there. And then I probably need to go a little bit deeper into turn one because I feel like I'm losing a bit too much speed there. Um, so if I can get those things down in qualifying, I think I might be able to get that tenth back and uh, we should be right up there with the top five. Um, so uh, once again, I don't really think we need to make any changes. Uh, the cart feels good as is. And uh, if I can get the, that a little bit back, then I think we'll be in good shape. So uh, let's go on to qualifying. Okay, and that's qualifying done. We ended up P11. So we are basically back where we started at the beginning of the day. Um, I just simply lost the drafting train. Um, everyone in front of me was in a line and where they were getting drafts off each other and uh, they just absolutely lost me. Um, and uh, I was struggling a bit in North Pole. I just could not figure out the right entry and line to take to keep it smooth. And so I was just struggling that whole session and I just could not figure it out. Um, but uh, P11's still a good start though. Uh, I kind of would have liked to be a little bit higher considering how we were in practice too. But you know, it is what it is. Um, probably getting to the point of the day where we need to go down on pressures a little bit. So I'll probably drop a pound for the race. Um, a pound or two depending upon how hot it gets by then. And uh, we will see what happens. Um, hopefully the race goes well. Uh, once again, the cart feels great in traffic, so uh, presuming I can stick with that traffic, uh, I think we're in for a fun race, so uh, let's get going.
right, and that is race one complete, and we finished P8 out of 28. Uh, we gained ground from our qualifying position, which is good, um, but we fell back from our lap one position, which is not so good. Um, we survived the lap one crash and cycled out P5, uh, and I was hoping that I'd be able to carve up the pack and maybe even get a podium, um, but the exact opposite happened. I just lost the cart, and like it just kept on falling off lap after lap after lap, and like I just I got the most out of the cart that I could. I was running consistent 36 threes pretty much the entire race, and I couldn't really do any better. And obviously I didn't have anyone to draft off of, so I was basically just a sitting duck. I was think I was able to make make the best out of the situation. Um, and uh, obviously we came back with a few battle scars, got a nice dent on the bumper, and a few scuffs and scratches throughout. Um, but, you know, um, I think we know some changes that we can make for the next race. Um, we're going to try going down a pound on pressure. Uh, going into the next race and see what that does for us. Um, uh, basically, I just need to make the cart a bit more slippery because right now it's just on rails and not in a good way. It's just way too stuck. And I need to loosen it up a little bit and allow it to be a bit more free and like just figure out what's going on because I feel like I'm losing a lot of speed like on corner exit and I'm definitely losing some speed in the North Pole because I just cannot get that line right with the way the setup feels right now. So the like, balance of the cart feels fine. It's just not the right balance for these conditions. And so, I mean, we're gonna change the tire pressures, drop them down a little bit, and uh, hopefully that makes a difference in the second race. So let's go on to the second race and see what happens. And both of my GoPros died for this race. Boo, this stinks. Um, so we basically didn't really get any footage of this race besides the rather uneventful uh, stuff that took place up at the North Pole. Um, so uh, here's my demonstration of what happened. Okay, so I have bad news and I have good news. Uh, the bad news is um, the front GoPro ran out of battery, so unfortunately we did not get any footage from that GoPro. Hopefully the stuff from the back looked good. Uh, but on the plus side, we had a really, really good race. The car felt a lot better. I was able to stick with traffic that time. Uh, even if I didn't make up any positions, like, from actual passing, um, I was getting swarmed by Krep in those first few laps, and then there were just so many people that were latched on him that once Kreppen got past me, like, I just got freight trained and the entire line went past me and there wasn't anything I could do about it. But, um, I was able to latch on to the end of the line, um, and I was able to follow them for pretty much the whole race until that crash happened right in front of me, took out like five or six carts, and I cycled up from like 11th or 12th all the way up to 6th in one corner. And, uh, well, I held that position, and we had a very good end to the day. So I call that a success. In my books, we come up with an 8 and a 6, and somewhere in the championship, probably pretty good. Uh, so a great day overall, and, uh, well, we have a lot of good things to go off of going into the next practice sessions and into the next races. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.